hello viewers welcome back to this course on esd so in the last class i think we have concluded the sustainable education the conception model for education now today we'll begin with a new topic that is sustainable leadership as you can see the two components are here uh, embedded like sustainability and another is the leadership okay so let us begin with this topic now the first thing is that uh, we need to ask ourselves actually what do we need uh, by the sustainable leadership what is uh, or why actually we do need the sustainable leadership in leaders in present day context what is the sustainable leadership so let us ask these questions to ourselves and reflect on these things oh of course these are some of the common definitions of leadership yes that all of us uh, we know that yes leadership is about Uh, envisioning and shaping the future it is about guiding the people it is about you know uh, cherishing some dreams uh, and uh, motivating the followers to achieve that goal it's a you know team work uh, there are so many dimensions so many aspects of leadership so we can briefly say that yes leadership uh, which are common to all the leadership is about envisioning and shaping the future sustainable leaders look beyond the present situation look beyond the just uh, resolving or so solving the pre present problem but they look uh, beyond the immediate goal or short term goal they look beyond uh, this uh, present situation they are visions their missions their goals are uh, you know far ahead of the present time <coughs> and also in which context they work whether they are work in the uh, social context or national context educational institutional context or administration context in which over context they are working they play a major role so what are the requirements what are the requirements of that uh, context that that organization that institution and how to go beyond the present uh, time and present problems and solution and look for a sustainable future sustainable future so the so they set the strategies and ensure the delivery of the results that meet the triple bottom line Uh, of social environmental financial performance so when we talk about sustainable leadership is that yes yeah, sustainable the con uh, component the concept sustainability further added the triple bottom line concepts like the you know vibrant economy equitable society and healthy environment so um, ecosystem a healthy ecosystem um, people uh, that is social uh, social domain and as well as the economic um, domain so here when we combine this uh, educational leadership uh, sorry leadership with sustainability then sustainable leadership definitely they uh, look for the strategies which are uh, which are viable in the um, sustainability uh, domain framework and they ensure that the delivery of the outputs uh, outputs or the results or the learning outcomes the performance outcomes uh, they fit into this step and bottom line Uh, components of sustainability framework of sustainability that is they meet the social uh, equity equi equitable uh, equitable uh, distribution of resources access everything environmental sustainability that means look for the more eco friendly um, environment uh, healthy environment and uh, financial uh, financial autonomy that is the financial performance in terms of a very vibrant and uh, sustainable economy so here as you can see leadership is required uh, very much everywhere however the functions roles strategies uh, uh, differ from uh, differ from one leader to another leader with respect to the context in which he performs in the context in which his followers his uh, fellow workers are their team members are there in which context and what goals they have set for themselves accordingly their approaches their strategies differs but when we talk about sustainable leadership definitely it has to fit into the criteria of sustainability as you can see sustainability and leadership when they are embedded so this portion when they are um, embedded so this portion you can say this common area you can say overlapping area you can say it is the uh, it is the domain of sustainable leadership so they not just look for the vision for the future for the long term goals for the effective strategies but they have to work within the framework of sustainability that is whatever the outcomes will be there the results will be there the productions will be there the performance uh, outcomes will be there it has to fit into the triple bottom line of the sustainability that is the vibrant economy it has to boost vibrant economy it has to it has to justify the equitable society and it has to you know Uh, protect the healthy environment 
So, next uh, we can see the what is the then why do we need uh, sustainable leadership in the present time. So, what is the need of the uh, hour? As you can see, this is the pyramid of sustainability, the pyramid of sustainable enterprises, sustainable enterprises. Like as you can see from the external to internal, then sustainable people are there, sustainable designs are there, sustainable process would be there, sustainable consumptions, consumers are there, then, then only sustainable growth is there. So, in one aspect that is the type of you know uh, initiative, initiative taken and another is the type of sustainable uh, environment that has been created. So, it is a uh, you know it is a demo, it is a, uh, it's a picture, it is a design of a sustainable enterprise. So, why do we need the sustainable leadership in the present day? Okay. So, as you can see uh, in the present scenario post COVID, uh, post COVID and uh, post you can say financial, global financial uh, slow economic slowdown. So, there have been there have been a uh, gradual uh, there, 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 been, there has been a you know uh, significant shift in the type of leadership not only leadership uh, seen or required across the business. It will vary definitely uh, it varies from you know organization to institution to startup business to uh, you know service oriented industries to start you know to small scale um, small scale uh, and medium medium scale uh, industries to multinational corporations. So, in different uh, setup in different uh, stage in different context in as per the requirement of the different business houses. So, there has been a significant shift in the type of the leadership and the demand for their strategic actions. So, that is at the need of the hour it requires a significant shift from the traditional type of leadership to a more customized type of leadership more sustainable type of leadership to not only just uh, achieve the criteria vision mission of the businesses, but to deal with the you know um, deal with the present uh, you know and the future uh, prosperity future scope future prosperity and future sustainability of that organizations. So, here you know here because the, you know in the present times because of the n number of factors because of the you know mass slow econo economic slowdown, unemployment, population explosion, you know climate change and uh, you know um, uh, resource depletion and uh, diminishing natural resources resource depletion and uh, uh, unequal development uh, across the globe so many these are the uh, challenges that we are facing nowadays similarly uh, these are the, of course we have uh, may we have made progress in some uh, some aspects like in technology we have made pro progress innovation also we have made progress uh, yeah, again even also we are trying to um, trying to update our economic policies and more you know more uh, business friendly multi, uh, for the foreign countries also in terms of introducing FDIs and other kinds of schemes. So, these are the some advantages are there even then. So, uh, in the context of uh, context of so many global challenges. So, we have to ask the question can actually technological development will solve all the um, problems all our solution can it bring uh, solutions um, for all sort of uh, problems or it needs to be addressed uh, in a different way. So, are there more factors to be addressed and enrolled? So, if so what are those factors? So, these how may how for the very very innovation to be embedded in the development of thinking of uh, thinking and sustain there because of the increased well being generated for all sections. Like whenever we are in, uh, introducing implementing any innovation it has to be again embedded in the framework of development and again it has to customize the needs of every category of stakeholders. There may be direct stakeholder, there may be indirect stakeholder looking at their uh, ambitions, their goals, their um, you know well being, uh, welfare etcetera. So, how can we you know how can we satisfy, how can we meet all the challenges uh, for all the stakeholders and the participants in the society to uh, to ensure uh, uh, to inst ensure the common well being and uh, a sustainable future for all. So, is there not a need to think and plan? So, here again that is why we need to think uh, in a different way in a very reflective way in a very you know um, customized way in a very strategic way uh, that uh, the today's solutions do not come do not become the tomorrow's problem. Yes, we are trying our level best to satisfy all the stakeholders to um, uh, bring happiness and well being for all our participants and citizens it is ok. But it should be in sustainable in nature in the sense that it should not this today's problems uh, solution of the problems is should not be temporary should not be very uh, should not be vulnerable for the future uh, sustainability of the uh, 
uh, future sustainability uh, scope and opportunity. So, and how to in ensure, how to restore, how to save, how to protect our future and not just by solving, sol solving the present problem, but also to make it more strategic to ensure sustainability in future as well. So, for that we need to have a deep thinking, reflective thinking, reflective analysis, critical evaluation, uh, um, then action plan, strategic, uh, uh, strategy formulation and uh, you know experimenting on these strategies. So, that is where today's solution need to be more um, you can say uh, cautionary in the sense that it should not create any further uh, any further problem in future for the future generations. So, as you can see um, as you can see the uh, our leaders our leaders we need the leaders who are the change makers of course, we look up to the up to the leaders as not just as the motivators or as not just as the guide and philosopher and uh, um, you know uh, catalyst and enablers, uh, but also change makers and uh, who can take that uh, take uh, we can take uh, the decision along with the different stakeholders who can adopt the solutions through the win win approach that so they have we depend on them both motivationally emotionally socially uh, intellectually also like uh, uh, we have a great expectations from them because we expect them to go beyond the common sense or common approach and go beyond and to uh, that means to uh, collaborate with everybody with all kinds of stakeholders co cooperate and to go beyond with the vision and mission that is so that they can bring a kind of consensus a win win approach to everybody. So, like you may have for example, the union leader in the company in the organization in the industry. So, the every every labor every worker they look up to the uh, lead the look, look up to their leader you know the, with the hope that yes our leader will definitely look for the welfare and well being of all of us. So, with such a you know um, uh, path such a consensus path such a you know uh, um, such a positive uh, way of, of win win approach or it can he can assure he can assure he can give us the win uh, win win situation to all of us. So, we should not we, we will not uh, be suffered or will not be uh, losing anything uh, if we depend on that ledger. So, but that to build up that trust on the leader to build up that trust on the leader it takes time it takes time and all the team members and the workers and uh, uh, just uh, for them to accept the leader as the uh, as the as uh, you know a person from who um, take uh, um, seriously their welfare and well being and who on whom they can uh, uh, rely upon they can uh, they are confident of. So, that also of course, takes time. So, that is a the in leadership the, um, the leaders in order to establish themselves in order to build that trust in order to build that rapport they have to work hard in the very beginning. So, they have to go through the different steps and stages to uh, to you know establish themselves as a popular leader and as a welfare leader as a sustainable leader as a uh, you know transformational leader this kind of so that they can bring. So, they will always look for a positive step uh, through which they can achieve uh, all success they uh, can bring win win success or um, uh, success to every party with a strategic approach. So, here we can say leaders who can see the interconnectedness between various issues and take a holistic approach while going forward. So, in the in the organizations sometimes some uh, different types of the problems are there related to task related to process related to or uh, related to different kinds of you know portfolio assignment uh, and then um, uh, interpersonal also it happens. So, different types of uh, chaos and the conflicts and dilemmas are there, but how the leaders should approach it. So, first thing is that yes of course, the communication skills are very important here first listening patient listening then uh, listening to everybody then then analysis analysis on the whole thing. So, then uh, actually the leader by listening and ana analyzing he want to grasp actually he wants to grasp the whole situation. So, that he can find out with proper analysis he can find out how these issues how these you know concepts and uh, conflicts and the dilemmas are uh, interconnected. So, where from it has started what is the source of its uh, of this conflict what is the source of this dilemma and and how these uh, very different different situations and contextual factors and the uh, you know statements and the issues have been um, have been interconnected and how it has become uh, such a big issue etcetera 
like all this. So, they always look for the interconnectedness or they always approach, approach a problem in a very holistic perspective in the sense that to analyze and to get the true picture uh, of the not only the cause and effect relationship, but how different different variables, different aspects, different situations, different contextual uh, factors, how they are interlinked and how they have created such a kind this kind of situations. So, far they need to understand the whole thing, they need to understand the whole thing with a holistic approach. So, here again uh, with the increasing awareness of nowadays of the climate change with the impact of business on the environment and with the, uh, with the advocacy of sustainable UNESCO sustainable development goals for the con sustainable consumption for sustainable production and you know sustainable lifestyle and sustainable you know how to um, make a sustain our society, our planet, our um, earth a sustainable earth with the our conservation of resources all kinds of things which are more you know not to not just eco friendly, but people friendly and you know prosperity friendly. So, it is that if that is why it is very important for these again to embrace the sustainable framework uh, while uh, getting the solutions of different kinds of the problems. So, here the three P's that people planet and prosperity or the profit uh, that is uh, these three P's are very important for embracing. Uh, for uh, to embrace for our uh, leadership, uh, leadership be it organization, be it institution, be it community, be it school, whatever. So, that is why this everywhere nowadays these 3 P or these uh, sustainability framework are being adopted, are being applied because we have to do whatever we, have, we are doing, whatever we will do, we have to uh, take care of the future. So, that in present time whatever we should do, we should do in such a way that our future is more secure, sustainable, etcetera. So, that is, so we have to, so it is a kind of sustainability as we have already discussed, it is a, you know, it is a kind of framework, it is a kind of paradigm, uh, paradigm or thought process is a kind of mindset, uh, mindset. So, how to bring that change, like how to, uh, you know, uh, inculcate, how to induce everybody to think in a sustainable way. So, therefore, we have to make it as a habit. So, here leadership for leadership also their leadership, the, every leaders nowadays are thinking of uh, getting the solutions of every problem, but in every problem in a very sustainable way. So, organizations are also now increasingly expected to take the responsibility, uh, you know, for the for their own activities, for their own, you know, for the activities like whatever they are producing and its impact on the climate, on the environment and uh, so that is the other activities like, you know, not, not just the consumer or customer satisfaction services etcetera, but a workers or uh, workers welfare, but also they have to look for the wider implications uh, of their production and of their organizations for the natural environment, for the resources, for the uh, for the economy, for the you know um, for the economy. So, by introducing different kinds of you know um, techniques and strategies and mechanisms like for for example, waste management, uh, then again how you have to map, how to you have to measure how much carbon footprint you are um, creating for the environment, how much damage, how you are controlling this damage, what are the uh, then again how you are investing your CSR. Uh, so, how that means with the minimum carbon footprint with the maximum protection of our natural environment, with the minimum resource depletion, with the maximum welfare of uh, workers, um, uh, customers, consumers so, and with the maximum outcome with the minimum uh, resources. So, these are the some of the strategies, strategies they have to adopt, I have to apply before thinking of uh, starting any business or organization or industry. So, these are so nowadays also for starting for even for the startup business or even for uh, or the bigger organization also so many, so many policy environmental policy, economic policy then the social policies are also uh, very much mandatory has become very much mandatory to follow the criteria. So, now as you can see, as you can see the sustainability leadership these are some of the ladders you can see these are sustainability leadership is uh, for example, uh, the simple leadership you can say leadership theory systems theory transformational leadership theories are there transactional theories of leadership are there you know common or the commanding or the uh, controlling uh, kind of leadership is there democratic kind of type of leaderships are there uh, but again when comes about the sustainability leadership yes sustainability leadership has the dimensions like yes definitely first thing is that it is non hierarchical is not it's not uh, not very hierarchical on the base and a very you know uh, vertical um, vertical nature that means there is no hierarchy like the bureaucratic structure. So, non-hierarchical 
and dispersed distributed kind of leadership again roots of professionalization is very much in, uh, important in whichever domain you are working you need to have the uh, professional um, skills competencies increase professionalization and ecological balance so here professionalization why it is required to deal with economic uh, factors to deal with the social factors people factors and human resource development factors and also making a um, eco friendly eco friendly and ecological dimension of sustainability leadership so so as you can see from this uh, uh, picture that these are the traditional these are the uh, regular the traditional kind of uh, theories uh, theories uh, uh, mean, uh, aiming at the different types of leadership uh, but again the types of leaderships are you know very much Mm, uh, required for depending on the context, context of uh, uh, context of performance, context of war, context of situation, context of you know organizational business, etc. But besides this, the sustainable leadership they need to acquire these kind of other aspects. Okay, so therefore there is an urgent need in the business uh, business today for the new type of leadership that is the long term sustainability and making the things right, strategic. Uh, you have to make the right choice, strategic choice in order to create this for the sustainable future. As you can see from this picture as this uh, picture, yes, now it has here again uh, based on this triple bottom line, it, uh, for example, in the functional framework, it has the four dimensions again. One is if, of course, economic diamond, dimension, financial dimension, again socio-cultural in which context you are establishing starting the business, socio-cultural dimension is also important then environmental dimension okay so then environment economic and financially financial is that expenses and the present cost benefit etc and economic is that for the prosperity for the future prosperity like the growth of economic growth uh, um, job creation and uh, uh, creation of uh, you know many resources so environmental economic and socio cultural here again society and the cultural factors and the financial so within these four you know four quadrant we can say these things are you know the n number of things have been uh, you know categorized starting from agriculture to tourism to management the all how all these activities can be related financial sustainability budget business plan you know health safety food security heritage connection of the land sense of community waste is waste management water management climate change transportation natural areas of stewardship land wise planning yeah, then you know um, you can say the prosperity that is village and village vitality rural community so these are n number of activities where sustainability has to be uh, has to be ensured so each pillar and theme is uh, you know interconnected so however all these things are interconnected all set of activities are interconnected because the everything is directed uh, is here uh, it either directed uh, directly related to one domain but indirectly related to other domains so these are so, these are to be felt all these factors are interconnected to each other. Hence, whatever we take off, whatever activity the leader takes up or the group of um, the leader and his groups are taking up be it tourism, be it uh, you know production, be it agriculture, be it waste management, whatever it has to be sustainable. The task, the goal should be sustainable, the process uh, to be adopted is sustainable and the uh, performance outcome should also be sustainable. So, that is that to create a sustain the focus is that how to create a sustainable future for all. So, as you can see this uh, how leadership and sustainability are quite you know integrated quite closely related are embedded in a very cohesive in a very conducive and cohesive manner that is demand for adventure this is just the clipping. So, leadership and uh, you think as you can see. So, sustainability, the sustainability challenges are increasingly inter inter interconnected as we are progressing towards the, um, you know, uh, as we have already landed up in the 21st century and moving towards and we are not only facing different kinds of challenges, but also we are also facing the sustainability challenge challenges, you know, because the uh, resources are, we are, um, the resources are falling short of and population explosion and because of other, uh, other, other reasons also environmental reasons, economic reasons also, uh, that means population explosion also, we have to deal with the, this resource depletion or the, um, shortage of uh, resources, how, so how the sustainability challenges are increasingly interconnected across the traditional discipline and the geographical areas that we need to understand it, far first thing is that we need to understand it. So, here 
For example, so um, uh, at each and every step we have to not only reflect on this, but we have to analyze the cause and effect relationship, we have to analyze the interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary, inter-domain and interconnected um, spheres of interaction. So, social and organizational challenges are also there, they are also going to going to share and be shaped in this revolution. Similarly, socio, uh, social organizational, socio economical, social environmental. So, therefore, all the le leaders they need to address these thing, must address these thing and perform or act upon these thing with the intensity with the focus on the sustainability challenges. So, now this is a learning cycle as you can see. First thing is that to, uh, for, yes, we need to understand the whole situation first. Yes, assessment of learning and the programs. So, whatever uh, situation in whichever context we are working, we need to understand it. So, assessment of learning programs, whatever we are intervention or training or workshop, whatever we are de designing, be it the solution, etc. So, first thing is to clarify the vision, will, values, and the goals, etc. Second. Uh, second, they uh, the can create the measurable and program and uh, um, program and learning outcomes. Whatever uh, program, whatever new plan, program or the course, whatever we design, definitely we first uh, first of all we uh, set up the clear vision, mission, goals, objective, etc. What we need to achieve and as, uh, achieve and uh, what is the timeline, etc. Then, um, uh, then again, whether the learning outcomes, learning outcomes, the performance outcomes are uh, really measurable or not and how to measure it, then only we can um, evaluate the effectiveness. So, then comes to determine the measures, what are the, what would be the measures, both the quantitative measure, qualitative measure to assess, to measure this kind of outcomes. Then comes, then we have to chalk out and uh, implement the plan, strategic plan. So, then uh, uh, implementation of the plan, then thereafter assessment of the outcomes during and after, after the plan, in between the from time to time also mapping um, can be done, monitoring can be done, for, um, even in the educational process also formative evaluations assessment can be done from time to time at, at the same time at the end of the um, end of the plan. So, execution of the plan. So, assessing the outcomes during and after the plan and thereafter analyze, interpret and use the results. So, nowadays it again it is the age of the big data, big data, big data analysis, even if it is a data analytics, data analysis is a very common thing because when we are taking, uh, we are dealing with the large data, how can we uh, get a picture out of this regarding whatever plan we are introducing, whatever equipment, innovation, practices, anything whatever we introduce, we have to see its impact. Now, with the larger data, big data, how can we uh, assess and evaluate its impact? So, that is a big data analysis, even in HR also, HR analytics, are there, everywhere there is analytics, HR analytics is there, you know, customers uh, need satisfaction analysis, marketing, uh, you know, marketing sales, to, from marketing sales to HR to finance, everywhere there is that analytics is there, that means data analytics, data, big data analysis, interpretation and the results and the results. Then only we can eval evaluate whether this strategy has been uh, very effective or not, impactful or not and if not, uh, if uh, if it is at all impactful, what is the percentage of its uh, impact and, uh, and for the few, whether it is sustainable or not and if not, how can we change. So, to evaluate um, any significant impact of any new um, strategy, new uh, work process, new um, equipment, new software, whatever we introduce, we have to, first thing is that we have to set its clear goals, uh, learn, uh, expected learning outcomes, uh, how to measure it again, actually uh, properly measuring that, uh, developing the measuring tools and to measure that, that is also important. Then after that analysis, interpretation, then only we can see its impact. So, from there we can find out again that impact will be analyzed whether it is sustainable or not, what the impacts, the impacts uh, how both the quantitatively and qualitatively its implications for environment, for the society, for economic prosperity, everything again. So, here this learning cycle again it is relevant for any kind of innovation, any kind of uh, leadership performance, any kind, uh, kind of problem solving that is happening nowadays. It has to be the impact, the result has to be sustainable not just for the present, but for the future generation. So, this is the basic framework of you know sustainability, sustainability and sustainable leadership. So, how this sustainability framework can be adopted, can be embedded in not, not just uh, solving the problems, but also taking care of our future. So, now, now I am concluding here right now, the next class I will just continue with this thing. Thank you very much.